Hey guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series. And in today's video, we are going to be setting up a main menu for our game. Having said that, we're going to be going over all of the elements required to set up a main menu. Uh, that's going to be covering importing the graphics into the engine, setting up all of the different elements such as the background, the buttons, um, this cool little press enter to begin thing, and all the functionality as well to link the levels up, that kind of stuff as well. And you know, there's loads for us to cover, so I just want to quickly dive in and show you guys what we're working on and just get started really. So check it Okay, so on my screen you can see the main menu that we're going to be working with. We've got plenty of stuff to work on, we've got a couple of buttons on the left hand side, we've got this cool press enter to start sort of thing going on the top right hand corner that we're going to be working on, so you know when the player actually presses the enter button, they can start the game that way instead of using all the controls, you know, it just pretty much just skipped the whole main menu for them. Um, so we're going to be taking this into Unreal Engine 4, we've got plenty of things that we need to do, we need to import the graphics into the engine, and we also need need to sort of set up all the blueprints so let's just go ahead and get into it so the first thing that I want to do is inside of my game I need to create or figure out a way to actually get this all displayed on the screen now we don't want this displayed on the screen in this level you know we want it to be separate so having said that we need to have a separate main menu level if you've been watching the series so far you'll, you know you would have seen that we created a main menu level that is sort of linked back to from our end game screen so what we need to do is we need to open this up if you haven't got one already just go ahead and create one and sort of in here we need to do a few things the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to import all of the textures from the project file for the main menu if you don't have those just download them from the download link in the description from here just open it up and just it's all in the menu fold in the menu graphics folder you need to go ahead and import all of these apart from the design Photoshop document straight into here the way you're gonna do that is just create a new folder inside of your textures folder call it menu graphics and then just drag and drop just like that to import it all in it's all set up and it should work straight out of the box so the next thing that I need to do is we need to create a user interface widget for our main menu and this is going to link up everything it's going to link up all of the different pages um, it's going to have all the interactivity it's going to have all the script in it and everything so go ahead and he go ahead and do that and just call it widget blueprint uh, just create a widget blueprint for now and call it main menu widget and that's perfect. One other thing that we need to check with our main menu is that if you go to game mode it's all set to none for now and when you press play sort of nothing happens it's just completely blank and that is perfect. Inside of your main menu widget go ahead and open it up and let's just test uh, you know put a little image in there to test for now to see whether or not we can get it on the screen. So I'm gonna start off with just putting the background in for now just so that we can actually see it's all working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag in the image like I have done here and then go to brush and set the image to background and then just stretch it all the way out to the edge just like we want it to. Probably the easiest way to do this is just to set the X and Y up here manually and just set it to 1920 by 1080. Now we don't want this flying all around the screen for now so just go ahead and set the anchor point to the whole screen just like that and then just make sure all of these are set to zero that's perfect. And let's compile this and hopefully at the moment we can't see anything on the screen. So what we need to do is using this level, we need to get it to display that widget on the screen. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to open up the level blueprint and we are going to create a widget from here. Now anything we do inside of this level blueprint is going to be specific to this level. So it's not going to open it up on any other level. So open it up and on begin play, so as soon as the, you know, as soon as the player opens up the main menu level, it's going to go ahead and fire off this, you know, script. And this script is pretty much our way of telling it to create the widget. Just set the class to main menu widget or whatever you called it. And then return value, just drag that out to return, uh, add to viewport, just like that. Go ahead and press compile and press play and hopefully we've got the background on our screen and it's looking really, really nice. So now we know we've got it on the screen and it's all working, we need to go ahead and add the other elements. So in the same way, we just need to add a couple of buttons, a couple of images and you know that kind of stuff as well. So I'm going to start off by adding in the, the little corner piece uh, that we have in the top right hand corner. So once again, just drag in an image and under the brush just type in corner and then just get that on there just like that and what we're going to do is we are pretty much just going to stretch it out 
just like that so it looks exactly how it does in the Photoshop document. And that looks good. That's perfect. So I mean you can see our menu is starting to take place now. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a couple of buttons as well. So just go ahead and drag those in. We need three of those. So we've got one for start game, one for options, and then one for exit as well. And just stretch these out to the size that you want them to be, just like that. There you are. And what we need to do with these buttons is we actually need to change the appearance of these buttons now so they actually look a bit more like it does on our main menu because it's all good and well having these buttons but you don't know which one is which and you know they just don't look that great so let's just go ahead and change the style on these. So click the button you want to change the style on and over in appearance you can see we've got three different states, normal, hovered and pressed. So this is just pretty much going to allow you to change the look of your button based on the state. So normal is sort of how it's going to look right now. Hovered is when you're going to have the mouse over it and then pressed is, you know, that little split second when you actually click it. So let's change the normal one for now. We're going to work with the top one which was start game and we are just going to type in start game just to see if we can find the normal one and go ahead and select that and you can see it's popped it in there for us just fine. One thing that we do need to change is the margins so that it fits it correctly and you can see we've got our button there. And we need to go ahead and do the same thing for the normal on all three of these. So the next one is options. So just type in options and then options normal, set that margin down to zero and then just do the same thing for the last one as well which is exit and that's exit normal margin zero. Cool. So let's go ahead and compile this and just test it out. So just press play. You can see you got our buttons here and it's sort of starting to look good. You can see they're a bit all over the place and so is the corner graphic. So once again, we just need to adjust our anchor points so that it sticks it, you know, sort of where we want it to. So this corner piece, just go up and set the anchor point to the top right. And then set the, the anchor for these little buttons on the left hand side, just like this. So one, two and three. There you are, that's perfect. So now they're anchored to the center. And if I recall, we also need to make these a little bit bigger as well, because at the moment they don't look very big. They're not too easy to work with. So go ahead and do that. Just stretch these out to the size that you need, just like that. So I mean, it, it doesn't really look too great inside of my viewport here. You guys should have the tools and you know the skills you need to actually make these a little bit bigger. So just go ahead and do that in your free time. For now, I'm just trying to make it nice and easy to work with, nice and easy to see, and just sort of give you guys the knowledge that you're gonna need to pull this all off, really. So there you are, that one's looking good. And one more. There you are, so that looks good for now. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and change the hovered state for all of these. So once again, we're just changing the image and we're gonna be changing it to the hovered image that I've created here. And you can see it's got like a slight yellow tint to it to sort of give it that cool overlay effect. Just go ahead and do the same thing for all of these. Just go into the hovered bit and then just like this. So options, hover, margin down to zero again. And just do the same thing for all of these, margin down to zero, exit, hovered, cool. So let's just go ahead and compile this and press play and see how it looks. You can see it's looking quite nice. We've got our buttons looking and working quite nice. So that is good. We still need to change the pressed effect as well on there. But other than that, it's not too bad. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and change a few things. So lastly, all we're doing is going into our pressed and we are just changing it to the normal state for now. So you sort of see that change. So start game and then normal margin zero. Options margin zero. This is set to normal. And over here we're setting the image to exit normal margin zero. That is perfect. So let's go ahead and press play and see how it looks. So there you are. You can see we can click the buttons and it's looking quite great at the moment. We still need to add the logo and we still need to add the, you know, escape to enter thing as well. So I'm just going to add the logo and I'm also going to add the little graphics that we need for the button as well. And then as for the animation, we're going to keep that for another video. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another image. 
So this is for the key button. So just type it in key, which one is it? Okay, let me just see if we got it uh, in the content browser. So it's enter, not key. That's my bad. So image and then just type in enter and chuck it in just like that. And then just stretch it out. And you're probably also going to have to rotate it as well in a bit. But we'll just leave it up there for now. And we're also going to have a piece of text in here as well, which just says press enter to start. And we need to change the font on that as well. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger as well. Just something. Let's go with 30 for now. And then just go ahead and make this bigger. Just like that. And that's all good. Cool. So we're not going to set up the animation just now. And the last thing that we need to implement is the logo as well. I haven't actually got it in the folder for this right now. So I'm just going to quickly grab it from my computer wherever I've got that. So do 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 do. And then I've got this here as logo. I'm going to drag it in just so that you guys have all of this when you do have the project files. And then we're just going to import it as usual and then just bring it in as an image. So just drag and drop just like that. Okay, that's perfect. And let's just go ahead and check our chuck our logo in here. Logo. That's all good. And yeah, let's just chuck it in there. Cool. So that is looking good for us. And let's just go ahead and adjust these a little bit as well. And once again, with the logo, we actually need to make sure that that has got the right anchor point as well. So just anchor this to the top left hand corner. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and press compile and press play and see how our menu is looking. It's looking good. We also need to anchor point the stuff in the top right hand corner as well, but that's easy. Buttons are looking good. We could still adjust those a little bit better, but our menu is starting to come to you know all come together so the last thing I'm going to do before I do end the tutorial is I'm going to set up the functionality for the start game button and also the exit button we're going to be leaving options for another video as you know we need to set up all the commands to change things like the resolution um, but for now we are just going to set up the start game and exit game and exit start game will take you over to the level that you want it to be so that's level one and then from there you can start to play around with the game so start game what we're going to do is with it selected, scroll all the way down and create an on clicked event. Once you've done that, we pretty much need to tell that to open a level and inside of level name, just set it to the level name for your first level, the level with the survival horror mansion, the forest and all of that stuff. For me, that is just level one. Um, if you want to double check that, just go ahead and press file, open level and you should have it there. Make sure you've got the spelling exactly the same or your button will not work at all. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing now with the exit button as well. So scroll all the way down, go to on clicked, and then from here, we are literally just going to type in exit or something like that. Close game, exit game. Okay. So execute console command. And in here, I'm literally just going to type in exit and that will close everything that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and test that. I'm going to press play. I'm going to press exit and you can see it takes us out of the game. And start game will take us to level 1. There's going to be a slight little pause while it loads up the level. But in a couple of seconds it should load it up. And we should be able to play the game. Just give it a couple of seconds and we'll see that it's working. There you are. You can see it's taken us into the level now. Things are a bit broken. It's an easy fix that we will be taking care of later on. Um, but that is pretty much everything for our main menu for now. There's going to be a couple more videos on it. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, make sure you share the video, smack that like button, and I will see you next time. Keep on creating, guys. Bye.